Hi, Yarnabees. It's me, Sandy. Uh, I have a couple things to talk to you about. Um, in my vi my winner's video that I just did, I was telling you that I hurt my back. And I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about it. So I just wanted to tell you about it here. And then I wanted to talk to you guys about the raffle. Uh, okay. So yesterday... Uh, for Father's Day, George and I had decided to go out in a kayak that, uh, that George had purchased. It was a two-person kayak, uh, and we haven't been able to get it out because um, there was really bad weather. <laughs> so yesterday we decided to take it out, and where he wanted to launch the boat was bad, bad. It was, um, it wasn't sand It on the beach. It wasn't sand. It was like a mud. And the mud was, when we put our foot in, it just, it went up to our ankles. And then we went a couple more feet and it went up to our knees and we couldn't get our feet out. And we were sinking fast. And it was pretty scary. Um, it was just, the mud just sucked us right in. And, um... I was really nervous. I, I was just like, oh my God, I, what are we going to do? <clears throat> so I, George was trying to help me get into the kayak um, and because he p ended up pulling the kayak and he got it into the water. Um, but when I tried to get my feet out of the muck, I wrenched my back really bad. So, um, it was not a fun day for me and George thought the whole situation was funny, but he didn't realize how bad I was. And so sitting here right now is killing me, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I lit, I was in bed all day, uh, or all, all afternoon and evening last night. Uh, on heavy duty painkillers and um, yeah so it's it's not a not a good thing um, I'm hoping I didn't damage my back to a really bad point I'm just gonna sit on painkillers and um, hope for the best I've been putting the heat on it uh, I I'm having a hard time even getting into the hot tub and so uh, I tried that last night and it, I was in so much pain. I just, I had to get out. Uh, and of course getting out is like hands and feet crawling. And <laughs> it was just not fun at all. So anyway, um, yes, we won't be doing that again. Live and learn, right? Live and learn. So anyways, I'll keep you updated on how I'm doing. Uh, okay. The raffle. Um, there hasn't been, um, a huge, up to this point, it's been great. Um, the, now there's been a drop off in sales and ticket sales. And for those of you that are brand new, that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm doing a raffle for big boxes of yarn. Um, all of my shelves were cleaned out of my yarn and I had 10 boxes of yarn to raffle off for $5 a ticket. Um, today was the fourth raffle that I just did. I have five more boxes. There was, like I said, there was a, um, a major drop off in, in ticket sales. It cost me $50, just over $50 per box to mail out. And, um, so there have been a few people that have bought tickets up till the 10th, um, draw, but it didn't generate enough money to actually mail out the boxes. So, um, I basically, I need 26 more tickets to be sold in order for me to, 
mail out these next five boxes. Uh, what I need to know from you guys is if you want to continue with this draw or with these raffles. If you do, I need 20 more, 26 more tickets at the minimum to be able to generate enough money to mail out these boxes. I can't afford $300 to mail them out. Um, so I need to know from you guys what you want to do. If you decide that you don't want to do these draws anymore, that's fine. Um, I will have to go back and refund uh, the money of the people that did buy tickets up till the end of the draws. I just need to know what you guys want to do. <clears throat> um, yeah, so, but uh, if, if you're new and you want to get involved, then there's a link down below for my PayPal, uh, and that's where you go to buy your tickets. So, if not, um, I will end the draw with today's draw and I will just go back and refund um, the money that is owed to the people that have already bought the tickets. Okay, so that's all I wanted to tell you guys. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Oh, <laughs> I've had people asking me about this. Um, it's... Oh, just now got my finger stuck. <laughs> uh, it's a granny stitch um, shirt. It points in the front and it points in the back. And I have um, arms on it. It's really pretty. Uh, but it doesn't look good on me. I think it's going to be more for a, a thinner person than, um, than a bigger person. Although it, it fits me, it just doesn't fit right on me so I don't know if it's because I've got boobs but it just makes me look like I'm this wide so which I am already but it, it makes me look bigger <laughs> so um so yeah I I finished that I used uh latte cake and I used um um su super saver ombre I think it was I hate that yarn. Oh, I hated working with it. Ugh. I don't think I'll use that again. I love the colors it comes in, but I just don't think I'll use it again. Um, but yeah, so anyway, um, that's all I think I wanted to talk to you. I know there's other stuff I want to talk to you guys about, but I'm, I'm, my mind isn't here right now because of, um, the painkillers so I'm not going to bore you with my drawn out trying to figure out what I'm going to say stuff so, but uh, anyways yeah so I just wanted to clarify that with you guys about the draws um because yeah it's it cost me a lot of money to mail these things out so um but let me know in the comments below what you guys want to do and um I'll figure it out from there. Okay. Thanks, guys. I love you all. I will talk to you later. Bye.